Hello guys, I welcome you to my channel, Laser Graphics and Multimedia. Uh, my name is Rafi Yakub, right here. I'm reaching you live from Lagos State, Nigeria. And in this video, guys, I'm going to teach you guys how you can get started with Tahoba Hub step by step tutorial without any skip. All you have to do is to watch the video from the beginning to the end and see how you get started with Tahoba app or on Google Chrome. Uh, but before I get into the tutorial started, if you are very new to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe right here. So when you click on the subscribe, then make sure you turn on the notification bell. Click on this notification bell right here. So when you click on that, then make sure you turn on all so that whenever I upload content next time, you get notified and you watch the started. So right guys, so the first thing we need to do is to head over to Google Play Store right here. This is my Google Play Store. So one thing we need to do is that we must download the app. So I'm going to head over to the Google Play Store. From the Google Play Store right here, so we have to make use of search bar. So you can easily download uh, Tower Hub on Google Play Store. Or if you are using iOS, you can check it on your iPhone. So I'm going to make use of search bar right here and type Tahoba. Tahoba. Okay. All right. So this is the right uh, application for Tauba Hub. You can see the logo. And uh, all you have to do is to click on install. So I'm going to click on it right away. All right. So after I successful download the uh, Tauba Hub, you can see enable right here. So I'm going to click on that. And then uh, uh, finally, I'm going to click on open to open the app. All right, so at this point here, have to, you have to click on here, click on this big bar. So guys, you can see you have successfully uh, accessed the hub. Tava hub, uh, you can see it's loading up. All right, so you can scroll down and uh, you see more products. The more you scroll down, the more you see products that will, that will load up right here. You can see more products will continue to load the more you uh, scan down. All right. So now one thing you can do here is that you can make use of uh, Right here. You can make use of search bar and type in whatever you are searching for at that page uh, at that point Another place where you need to search for product is that you can make use of picture search right here All you have to do is to click on the camera icon and upload the picture of a product you are looking for so Alternatively, you can begin to scroll down, but that takes more time and it's uh, straight up when you are searching for product. So the best option to search for product is to type search or picture search product. Then from there, you navigate to whatever product you want to uh, buy and you talk to the supplier, chat them or about the product. Okay. Now, when you have successfully uh, accessed the app, one thing you can do right here is that you just have to... You must log in to the hub so that you have full access to the hub. So when you successfully log in to the hub, you'll be able to chat the supplier. You'll be able to place order. You'll be able to make payment to supplier. You'll be able to have your shipping address. You'll be able to do a lot of things when you are successfully logging to the hub. Right now, I'm going to show you guys how you can log in to the hub using your Taba member name and your Taba password generated from Alipay app. So that is what we are going to use to log into this app. So when you use it to log into this Taba hub, you are going to have uh, a full access to the app. And also, your account uh, will be automatically linked to the Alipay app so that whenever you want to pay supplier on Taba hub, you will be able to make use of your Alipay topaz or your Alipay balance when you are when you use your Alipay uh to uh, only pay Taba member name and password to log in fully. So guys, for you to log in successful on this uh, Taba hub, 
the first thing you need to do is to click on this icon here you click on this icon So now you can see that we have finally successfully logged into this app. So you can see our Taba, new Taba member name right here. And uh, you can see our profile picture here. So uh, let me briefly explain what you need in this particular section of profile. Right here, this is where your product on transit. And this is the product you save. This is the product that need a review. This is where you have your refund. And right here is the product you have not paid for. Okay. So uh, this is all, uh, these are the things you need to know about this particular uh, app. So now, one thing you can do now, when you have successfully logged in, uh, register with your uh, mobile number, just like the way I process it right here. So you will be able to do anything on this app. You'll be able to chat with supplier you can see now that the chat box has become active so if i click on this place now you begin to read message from tower so uh if i click on here now we can chat i mean we can read on chat and see uh the message we have right here so you can see now this is just a welcoming message from tower so uh, this is it. So hi, this is just your Taba member name. You can translate and, and read more information right here, but that's not where we are going. So now let's go quickly go back home on the hub. So now you can see that when we have successfully logged into the hub, the interface change compared to what we have when we uh, log in, in when, when we open the hub initially, you will notice that everything has become changed. I don't think we have payment option when we open the app initially. So if you watch the video and you follow the step, you're going to see so many changes right here. Now, if I click on any product right here, so if I click on the product picture, let's see, it's open up in a new page. So now you can see right here that we are able to have full features on the app. Now you can decide to chat up with this supplier. You can decide to love this product or save it in your profile. If I click on here now, it means I want to save this product. So the product has been saved into your profile. You can decide to uh, chat up with the supplier. Let me just click on save to the profile has been saved just like that so if i decide to chat up with the supplier you all have to do is to click on here now to chat the supplier so all these things are very much possible for you to do is because you have successfully registered on the hub okay so i can click on here now and start to chat up with the supplier and send the message so this is just an introduction on how you can get started with java hub all you have to do is to follow the step I'm taking in this video and I'm very sure you're going to get it in a proper way. So thank you guys for watching this video from the beginning to the end and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.